They are widely known as border borders, and it's widely known that few who ride the bikes bother with a crash helmet. Colin Sekajugo is hoping to change that. The artist is remodeling helmets, adding a little bit of style. Spreading the conviction, I mean really convincing people to buy into this idea is not easy because a lot of people don't see the necessity of having uh, uh, something that's going to bother them. If they say someone has very nicely done hair and they don't want anything to uh, <laughs> dismantle it, they, they find this as uh, a bit of a bother. But then we, we always emphasize that you know, safety should be the first thing. Collins uses cutouts from prints of African fabric that are picked from tailor stores around town to decorate motorcycle helmets. He says the different range of fabric that he chooses gives the helmets an attractive look to users of motorcycles to wear them for their safety while on the road. City authorities in Kampala are trying to regulate the border border business and improve safety by promoting the use of helmets. But many still don't wear them. The makers of these custom-made helmets say they want to make a change in Kampala. We noticed that a lot of them are not really durable and, um, and they're susceptible to weather, bad weather. So we noticed that we could do something about them that could make them more uh, long lasting and also withstand the kind of like weather like rain or like very harsh sun sunshines. So that's why we have all these layers on top of them and these make them more uh, durable. Even when it drops down, it won't easily crack. Already the campaign is beginning to catch on. Sometimes I forget it home, or sometimes I will carry it, then I think about it, like I have to wear it. And then all of a sudden I'm using it. But now everyone identifies me according to my helmet, because it's personalized, it has this African touch to it. It is a fashion statement, and when you wear it, everyone wants it. The high fashion helmets are a little pricier than the plain ones. But Colin says the helmets bring value to life. Isabel Nakiria, CCTV, Kampala.